if you're British, then you've no doubt seen one of these. And you probably grew up eating their luscious, luscious fruits. It is, of course, a toasted sandwich maker, which then kind of evolved into the George Foreman grill and panini press. But that wasn't the end of this revolutionary invention's evolution. No, it recently metamorphosed into this. The Diablo, a toasty slash toasted sandwich maker, whatever you want to call it, which you can actually use on your stove or hob. Very nice, isn't it? It also looks a little bit like something you'd use for nasty sex. I have to admit, the design is amazing. It's very fitting for the name. It feels sturdy and well made, and it actually comes apart very easily to clean. Meaning the little devil horns do serve a purpose rather than being there just for decoration. But that's kind of where the praise ends, and I'll show you why. Take our Diablo. And if you're going to make a sandwich, you'll... They say you have to take off one corner, so you put that... I don't bloody know where you put that. There. And then we close it. No. Okay, we... We close it. And then, uh... Notice the first problem? They say you cut off the crusts, but then... That's half a fucking sandwich! It is half a... Then we do have a very amusing shaped piece of bread that, uh, that will come out in the end. But that is an amazing, amazing, amazing waste of bread. I stood and watched the guy at the convention make toasty after toasty, and each time he just threw the crusts away, yet claimed he could use them for other toasted sandwiches. As what? The filling? Mmm, bread sandwiches. I watched the demonstrator make several things, including a cheese toasty, an apple pie, a pancake, and an egg sandwich. So I'm going to try and recreate those for you now. Well, first thing is a toasted cheese sandwich. So, one slice in there. We need to make our pocket. Let me get some cheesy cheese. We put some cheesy cheese into our pocket. That's delightful. Oh, and I've forgotten the important ingredient. Here we go. In every cheese toasty, it's a Worcestershire sauce. Even I can't fucking say it. I've been watching too much American stuff. Okay, on goes the lid. Let me close that. Fasten it shut at the bottom there. And then there, uh, yeah, we have all this wasted crust. It really does seem like a weight. What are you going to do with that? You can't cook with that. Bread and butter pudding, maybe? I don't know. Let's get this on the heat. Yeah. Well, don't try this at home, kids. They did say it would work on electric and uh, gas. So, yeah, shouldn't have a problem with that. Started smoking a little bit. So that's concerning. Oh, you're being on fire again, aren't you? See, that's a, not a good thing, as if it, it does that. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to cook it from the other side now, to give that side a rest from being on fire. Okay. Yep, I'd say that's done, so let's serve this up. Right, here we go. Our... Get out, I don't want to... Ooh. You cool off over there. Well, it's nice and hot. It does have some rather... Yeah, let's, uh, let's pretend they're not there. We have here a uh, cheese toasty. Could have, uh, it helps if I get it in bloody frame. Yeah, it uh, could have done with a little bit longer. It is pretty hot, pretty cut through. Yeah, it's just a cheese toasty. Mm, nice bit of Worcester sauce in there. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. I can't frame things. Hmm. So I'm going to enjoy that, I'm going to eat all of it, and then wish I had the bloody crusts. Pro tip, don't touch anything that is this dark colour, even after a long time after you've taken it off the heat, because it retains heat like a fucking supernova. Ow! Okay, this next one's a little weird in that it's an egg sandwich. So this should be interesting. You get there, so... Make our little well of bread. And then we... Yeah, 
Can't see how this could go wrong. And that goes. Ouch. Still fucking hot from before. It's been off the bloody heat for ages. Okay, good. Okay, so let me squish that. So get that. I don't want to touch you, so get off. Get off. Get out. Let's try and make sure we don't burn anything around there. So, uh, okay. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Let's get it on the heat. No idea how long this one's going to need. Whoop. Caught that a little bit. Scorched by Diablo himself. That's quite cool. So, uh, yeah. Let's try not to turn, touch the blisteringly hot parts and, uh, See if we've got an egg sandwich! Can you hear that? It's a very concerning sound. So I'm going to release my sandwich before it explodes. You get, get there. Okay. I'll keep you open so you can cool down a bit. Bloody hell. Okay. Do we have an egg sandwich? Tell you what, we've got an egg sandwich with a fucking runny middle! Ow! Ow! And uh, all of you people said I couldn't cook. Look at that! That is the greatest egg sandwich! Yes! Oh, it's so hot. Pancakes now, so whipped up a nice bit of instant batter. Okay, and we'll spray some greaseproof stuff in there. And then, oh, this should be nice. If this works, this will be good. So let's get it on the heat without touching the hot bit. Let's go. All right, that's long enough. Let's, uh, let's turf it out of there. Okay. Well, looks pretty good. It's not to say it's uh, cooked on the inside though. And that'll fucking do, mate. I'm out of here. Mm. That'll fucking do. Well, last up is an <coughs> apple pie. And uh, no, I must admit, I did not make the pastry myself. But uh, I don't want this thing to stick. I'm going to do literally how he did it. He kind of squished the pastry down. It's going to take a while. Let me let me speed this up. Okay, I think we're good. So now the filling. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to go, but uh, there's no way whole apples would would kind of cook because they need ages to stew. So get in there. Let me close the old liddy. Hopefully that seals it all off. So let's cut off. Get out. Okay, so there is our Diablo with a potential apple pie inside. Let's see how we get on. Right, okay, so uh, I think about four minutes either side. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's see if it catches fire. Kind of scared now. Kind of scared. <coughs> God. <coughs> Bloody hell. <coughs> oh shit. That's our pipe. <coughs> I don't think you could blame me for this one. <coughs> oh God. <coughs> All right. There you go. Are you hot? Oh yes. Oh, I shouldn't be surprised. Let's give it a bite. Hmm. Pastry's cooked. <coughs> oh god, god. <coughs> Sorry for the background noise. <coughs> well, 
is cooked. Fuck off, Laurie. It's cooked. <coughs> it's cooked. The pastry's cooked. The applesauce is hot. I have smoke inhalation and pr probably go to the hospital now. It's certainly a unique product, and it's great at making tiny little pies and pancakes. But that should be its selling point, not the fact that it makes weird round toasties. They can claim that you don't have to waste the crusts all they want, but at the end of the day, all you're going to do is throw the crusts out to the birds. There you go, you ungrateful bastards. Interestingly, the Diablo comes with some recipes, so maybe one day I'll give them a go. But I'm struggling to see what real variations you could do with it. You could probably gouge somebody's eyes out quite nicely with it. Ow. Oh, 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 oh,